Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Aaron J. Holt, back again with another React video. Now as you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Jurassic Park franchise. I have all the movies, I've seen all of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, I've played uh, Trespasser for my channel, as well as almost all of uh, Lego Jurassic World. I still have to get to the last bits of that, I apologize. I've been super busy with theater guys, but I will get to it eventually, you have my word on that. So today's React video is What Ripped Apart Biosyn Scientists on Isla Sorna in Jurassic World, uploaded by Shadows nine days ago and has 73,000 views as of this video, you guys. Now, if you're unaware, Biosyn is actually the company that, uh, uh, how shall I put this? Uh, well, actually, yeah, Biosyn is the company that Lewis Dodgson worked for. Uh, and is the company that hired uh, Dennis Nedry to steal the dinosaur embryos uh, from Jurassic World, but he ultimately failed. So I'm curious. I, I wasn't aware of any Biosyn scientists uh, on Isla Sorna in the events of Jurassic World. I'm interested to see where this is going, you know? I, I'm unaware, and I'm pretty well versed in Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, so I'm interested to see where this goes, guys. So what do you say? Let's check it out. All right, full screen, thank you. In three, two, one, action. What killed the Biosense scientists on Isla Sorna? Why were they even on Isla Sorna in the first place? And what were they trying to achieve? Now, a lot of people thought that Isla Sorna was abandoned in 1993 after the fall of Jurassic Park, but that actually isn't the case. Isla Sorna was abandoned in 1995, as InGen hit financial troubles and Hurricane Carissa was approaching the island, which then forced them to move their operations off of Isla Sorna. During the evacuation, though, animal paddocks were left unattended, and with no security measures left on, allowed the animals to move fully into the wild, which eventually blossoms into the huge ecosystem System we knew on Isla Sona. But you might be asking yourself, what has this got to do with Biosyn? Well, let me continue. Yeah. Now, in 1996, the Bowman oh, family sorry. stopped on Isla Sona while on a yacht cruise through the Gulf of the Fernandez. Their daughter was attacked and wounded by a pack of Compignathus. The family, upon learning that InGen was still in control and leased the island, threatened to sue InGen. Not that they weren't already in enough financial trouble after Jurassic Park. John Hammond was still in direct control of InGen, but this is the point where they removed him from being in control to try and revitalize InGen, and that's where we have 1997's The Lost World Jurassic Park, where Ian Malcolm, Clay Harding, and the rest of the team land on Isla Sona to try and stop now nasty InGen in taking all the dinosaurs. And we all Sarah know Harding. how that pans out. No, it's but Sarah this Harding. does give us our first look into why Biosyn would be involved. If you look around on Site B or Isla Sona, you see all the old facilities are still there. The administration building is still there, the embryo lab, the worker village, everything there is is still intact, although a little overgrown and a bit battered from the hurricane. Mm. InGen, when they evacuated the island, left in a huge hurry and left all their research facilities, even eggs, etc., behind in the labs. But at this stage, Biosyn are not quite aware of that. Now, after the San Diego incident in 1997, that clearly sealed InGen's fate, and they were bought out then in 1998 by Masrani Corporation. Within 100 days of the corporation being bought out, activity resumed on Isla Sona in direct violation of the Gene Guard Act passed on from the previous year, despite United Nations and other government entities keeping surveillance over the island. Now, it isn't known whether Simon Masrani himself was aware of this crime, but there is reason to believe Henry Wu was involved directly during a nine-month period in 1998 and 1999. The Site B facilities were reused to continue the de-extinction research and development for the second incarnation of Jurassic Park on Isla Nublar. And this is where we see the Spinosaurus being born. And further to that, where Biosense start to get involved and things get even more dark and secretive as time goes on. But before all that, InGen's rival Biosense Genetics infiltrated the illegal research in 1999 through its project Regenesis succeeding in piggybacking mm. off Dr. Wu's success to bolster Biosent over the next two decades. Well, you might be asking yourself, well, Shadows, what the hell is Project Regenesis? Yeah. Well, let me explain. 
Project Regenesis was an illegal espionage program carried out by Biosyn Genetics between 1999 and the year 2000. It involved the infiltration of InGen operations ongoing on Isla Sona since 1998 and itself was in violation of the Gene Guard Act which passed in 1997. Biosyn agents posed as InGen staff working with Dr Henry Wu on genetic reconstruction, piggybacking off their research to further Biosyn's ability to complete their own genetics tech race. InGen concluded its research in 1999 due to fears of discovery but Biosyn concluded its own research the following year. This is where they also bought out Vis Hoskins and placed him in Masrani Global as head of their security, keeping tabs on everything for Jurassic World's construction. But our story hasn't finished on Isla Sona or the scientists of Biosyn still working there. As of 2001 it is seemingly fully abandoned as we see it all in Jurassic Park 3. We see the embryo labs, we see the Spinosaurus and we also see the quilled raptors. Now whether or not the quilled raptors were also a product of the research by Biosyn or the research by InGen is something we need to discuss but we've discussed that in another video here which I'm not going to go into huge detail for. But what we do know is the fact that they made the Spinosaurus prior to these events in 2001 and Biosyn concluded their research in the year 2000. So does that mean they actually stayed on Isa Sona for another year or did they move their research off site? Needless to say they were still involved heavily in this research, pausing as InGen employees. But again, what does this have to have with them being ripped apart potentially, Shandos? Well, let me continue to explain. Isla Sona is composed of many buildings, but none of them seem to house any type of paddock where they would keep these large carnivals. We see obviously the embryo lab with the eggs, etc., and some small cages which they could keep smaller carnivals in, but we never actually see any large paddocks to house such as the Spinosaurus or the Ceratosaurus. But that doesn't mean they are not there, especially with them anticipating and giving the Spinosaurus accelerated growth, they would have potentially put this in a large paddock. Now we do see a large fence which looks big enough to house some giant carnivores because we see the Spinosaurus smash through it. So they would have indeed built some type of huge paddock because they have the fences for it. But what we do know in 2001 the Spinosaurus is near enough fully grown and is absolutely massive, able to smash through any type of fence it wants. And this is where things things I believe get really interesting. We know Biosyn didn't conclude their research to the year 2000 and InGen concluded theirs in 1999. So if the undercover agents left with InGen in 1999, my belief is that they definitely went back to continue their research, even for at least 12 months as just themselves as Biosyn operatives. And as they continued their research, the Spinosaurus continued to grow. Now there is very little information out there in regards to the growth of the Spinosaurus or the conclusion of Operation Regenerate. Genesis for that matter were Biosyn so we can only kind of summarize and guess as much to what happens to them. And this is what I believe actually happened. Biosyn did actually go back to Isla Sona and conclude their research as it does state in the law. They continued for another 12 months on Isla Sona with the Spinosaurus but things took a nasty turn. The Spinosaurus and the other animals actually escaped. The Spinosaurus much like we see in Jurassic Park 3 in 2001 smashes down the fences even though if they are electrified and in doing so goes on a wild manhunt against the Biosyn employees tearing, maiming, destroying some of the Biosyn scientists in the process. Now I do believe some of them obviously escape because they do conclude their research and obviously deliver that back to Biosyn but there are definitely going to be some casualties out there. Imagine a sub-adult Spinosaurus breaking through from containment and heading into some of the buildings or even into some of the research posts because we know there was a worker village which they would have still had in effect and still used. They would have still use the embryo labs. We also know that the Spinosaurus was super aggressive against humans for some unknown reason. Now there are theories to this and one of them could be due to the experimentation from Biosyn Genetics. Maybe it did escape and the Biosyn Genetics team tried to recontain it. We do also see a lot of destruction in the surroundings on Isla Sona in 2001. Whether or not that would be caused by an animal or by Halokane Carissa in 1995 is very hard to say. I personally think it was done by the Spinosaurus after it escaped, but what do you think? But what is definitely clear is Biosyn stayed or had to conclude their research for another 12 months and the only way they could have concluded their research is to go back to Sona and in the process that is where the Spinosaurus would have escaped 
and in doing so would have potentially injured, maimed and ripped apart some of the scientist team there. But what do you think actually happened to the Biosense scientists? Do you believe they just left in 1999 or came back in 1999 to 2000 to continue the research? Mm -hmm. Because we know they had to continue the research for another 12 months. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, check out all my other videos on the channel because there's plenty of stories on there. I'd like to thank my YouTube members. Thanks guys for supporting. And if you want to support, check out the link in the description. I'm Shadows and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, personally, I think that uh, the scientists got ripped apart by both the Spinosaurus and the Velociraptors. Because the Velociraptors, I mean, come on. They're they're smart. They're really smart. They're clever girls. So, uh, and especially because they're smaller. Because, yeah, the Spinosaurus is big, but he can't really fit into, you know, the buildings. You know, whereas... The raptors are really smart. They know how to open doors and manipulate objects with their claws. I think that, you know, could also be a contributing factor. And plus, they're pack animals, and they can hunt and kill prey very easily. But you see, I've read both of the Jurassic Park novels written by Michael, Cr Michael Crichton, and it said that um, uh, when InGen was... Uh, operating site b on isla sorna what they did was yes they had like some small cages like for the infants and stuff but what they did was they released animals into the wild they had them tagged and then they released them into the wild and they uh let them grow for a little while and then they collected them while they were still juvenile and then they shipped them off to isla nublar to put in jurassic park and the reason they did that was because they had uh, uh, some disease spreading because of the meat that they were uh, feeding the carnivores and then it was spreading to the herbivores. And so in an attempt to stop the disease, they were like, okay, we can't, you know, feed them any more of the stuff that we have. So we have to, you know, you know, halt the spread of the disease. So they were like, okay, we're not going to feed them in the lab anymore. We're just going to put them out in the wild, let them fend for themselves. Nature will find its way. And then they collect them while they're still juvenile thanks to the tags that they give them and then they ship them off to nublar so yeah that would explain why the dinosaurs are all out in the wild in uh on isla isla sorna but yeah and like i said i was only aware of biosyn on isla sorna when uh actually no no, it, w it wasn't Biosyn that went to Isla Sorna in The Lost World Jurassic Park. That was InGen. So yeah, like only... Oh my gosh, I should have seen this coming. I played When I played Trespasser, I saw a Biosyn chopper. That was a hint. Why have I never put this together before? Oh my gosh, this video is blowing my mind. <coughs> but yeah. So, but yeah, that, that explains a lot. So, yeah. Hmm. Learn something new every day. I'll have to check out more of Shadows' uh, videos if I want to learn more, I guess. But, yeah, I want I want to learn more now. Yeah, and maybe I'll do some more React videos on, on Shadows' videos. But, yeah. That being said, I'm going to end this video here. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below how you think I'm doing. What are the videos you want me to react to? Just remember, please keep the comments kind. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about my latest videos. Thanks again so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Roll the outro!